Hey everyone, welcome back to SG Karma. And right now I'm in Thailand, but this time around we're doing something slightly different. And you might notice that I'm dressed a little bit differently than usual. That's because this time around I'm gonna be on two wheels and not four. These are some of the bikes that I'll be riding. For the road section, it will be this new Nightster, Harley's most recently launched product that builds upon the legacy of the Sportster. Right, so I'm just back on my first ride with the Nightster and first impressions after like a 20-25 minute ride I must say it's a very easy bike to ride so the tyres at the front especially are very narrow so it makes it easy to steer and you know the bike overall is quite light um, as far as power goes you know it's not super quick but obviously there's quite a lot of low end torque and when you get high on the revs you know it, it goes pretty quickly but this is obviously meant to be a more sort of easy going comfortable bike and it is right on the roads it's really quite comfortable and of course I think it looks very good for the dirt section, I'll be riding the Pan America, Harley's first ever adventure offering. Okay, so I just finished the dirt section of this event and I was riding this. This is the MY22 Pan America and I must say it's it's very obvious the improvement, you know, it's less slippery across the slippery sections and it's just an easier bike to handle on these off-road sections and of course, you know, off-roading is a very interesting experience. It's something very different and definitely not something most people in Singapore will be doing on a fairly regular basis. But yeah, the Pan Am 2022 is a really impressive off-road bike. I'll be riding this Sportster S on the track. Okay, so I just finished my track session with that bike right there, the Sportster S and I must say on the track it goes like hell. You know obviously it's a racetrack you can really give it the full beans and when you do you know it's really really capable for what it is right. Is it a full on sports bike? Of course not, it's not designed to be but as far as something that's you know fun to ride, quite nimble actually and you know really quite a lot of fun on the track you know great bike. Okay, so some final impressions of my day here. Overall, it's been a really great experience. I think it's very interesting to see these bikes, I guess, in their element as much as this might be their elements. And, you know, it's a great chance to sort of test out the real capabilities of these bikes in a way that we, most of us probably will never do on a day-to-day -day basis, right? Whether it's going off-road, whether it's going on a long ride on public roads, or obviously on the racetrack as well. So that's my time here in Thailand. Thanks for watching, you know, remember to like and subscribe to our channel. And of course follow us on TikTok, you'll see all kinds of fun stuff there. So until I'm back in Singapore, bye!